Ten Commandments. How does your life stack up? You read out through God's word. How, how are you living your life compared to where how God's called us to live our lives? We're going to close with a song. I want you everyone to stand to your feet today. And I've talked about heaven and I talked about hell and how we're going to be judged. And maybe you're here today and you haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I want to give you an opportunity to accept Jesus, because the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 10, it says, if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart, you will be saved. That's what it takes to enter into heaven. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. I want everyone to bow your head and close your eyes today. And if that's you today that you don't know where you would go if you were to die, I want to give you an opportunity to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I'm going to count to three, and if that's you, I simply want you to raise your hand and say, yes, I want to accept Jesus today. One, two, three. Go ahead. If that's you today, say, you know what? I, I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Hands are going up all over this place, all across the auditorium. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I want to pray a prayer, and I want everybody to repeat after me. Whether you raised your hand or not, I want you to repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. Make me a new creation in you. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord some praise this morning. If you prayed that prayer and you meant it and you believed it in your heart, the Bible tells us your name is written down in the Lamb's book of life and you will spend eternity with your Lord and Savior, Jesus.